Today I will talk on subcutaneous emphysema. Subcutaneous emphysema is a rare condition in which air becomes trapped under the skin. Specifically, the air is trapped in the innermost of the skin's three layers, known as subcutaneous layer. It can be caused by medical procedures, surgical procedures, accidents, injuries, or infections. It is most likely to occur in the chest, neck, face, but can happen in any part of the body. When we see the causes of subcutaneous emphysema, there are numerous underlying causes of subcutaneous emphysema. For example, injuries to almost any part of the body, especially the chest, sinuses, or facial bones, pneumothorax, infection with necrotizing bacteria that kills skin tissue, increasing the risk of gangrene, surgical trauma, laparoscopic surgeries, barrow trauma, accidental injury to the trachea during intubation can also cause subcutaneous emphysema. In addition, injuries to the esophagus often during insertion of feeding tube, boil or esophageal perforation, bag mask ventilation during CPR, this can all cause subcutaneous emphysema. Rarely, subcutaneous emphysema may occur for no reason. This is referred to as subcutaneous emphysema of spontaneous onset or spontaneous subcutaneous emphysema. Subcutaneous emphysema is more common in men than in women. Possible symptoms of subcutaneous emphysema include if it is mild, it is asymptomatic, otherwise, edema or swelling in the affected area, and a crepitus or a crackling sound when the surface of skin is examined by a touch. Crepitus might be the sign that leads medical professionals to diagnose subcutaneous emphysema. In addition, it can cause sore throat, neck pain, difficult breathing, difficult swallowing or speaking, and also voice changes and a distension or bloating of the abdomen. The possible complications include problems with airways or heart, tension in pneumothorax, compression of the trachea, compartment syndrome or swelling of muscles and the other body tissues, poor blood circulation or perfusion to the brain mainly, and the pacemaker failure if the patient is having pacemaker. When subcutaneous emphysema is caused by infection, it can lead to necrosis, kidney failure, sepsis or septic shock can also cause acute respiratory distress syndrome, delirium, and a coma. We can send the chest X-ray. On, on this, they may show a positive sign for a Ginkoki leaf sign. This is described as an air pattern along the pectoralis major that resembles the vents in the Ginkoki leaf. This leaf is a leaf that is used in China mainly for herbal medicine. On CT, it can show dark pockets of air in the subcutaneous layer and they may also help identify the source of the air. Bronchoscopy can be performed if the condition is thought to result from injury from intubation. And ultrasound may be used if pneumothorax is suspected. When we came to treatment, subcutaneous emphysema usually resolves in about 10 days without serious complication if the underlying cause is successfully treated. During this period, the air pocket is gradually reabsorbed to the body. But during this time, you should have to give oxygen, you should have to give abdominal binders to compress the abdomen and the pain medication. Treatment for subcutaneous emphysema may include the administration of highly concentrated oxygen, since it helps the body absorb the subcutaneous air more quickly, making two infraclavicular incisions on each side, deep incision made below the clavicle bone, and the insertion of chest tube to remove the air and the severe case of subcutaneous emphysema may require surgical treatment or the insertion of the drains. Thank you for watching.